Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're making bubble and squeak. The key to this is using yesterday's potatoes, ideally that have been in the fridge overnight or perhaps left outside the van safely from dogs. Ugh. The green of choice that I'm using today is Savoy cabbage. It's my absolute favorite cabbage. I think I've used about four leaves in here. Take out the center spine and then finally slice the actual leaves so you've got these tiny little ribbons and drop some on the floor for good luck. But you don't have to use cabbage even, you can use Brussels sprouts or kale or really anything. So my pan is on, let's heat some ghee first of all or whatever your favourite cooking oil is. And I'm just going to slowly cook these um, Savoy cabbage leaves just to soften them up a bit. Okay that looks good. So I'm using leftover mashed potato from last night so it's been mashed with butter, with milk and salt and pepper and because this is a really messy job I'm going to remove jewels and I'm going to glove up. So there's no measurements when you go down below into the description box you'll see there's no measurements at all for this recipe and that is because it's all to do with leftovers. Basically you need about 50% potato, 50% greenery. Now to start with give it a stir. Next up, take a handful of the mix and make it into a burger shape. In an ideal world, you'd stick these in the fridge overnight to really firm up, but obviously we don't got time for that. We camp in, we need food. Just dip your patty in some plain flour, heat some more of your favorite cooking oil and carefully place your little patty in the pan. Once they're in the pan, you wanna really be really careful with them. Don't nudge the pan, don't turn them over too often. If you're too rough with them, they will fall apart. So treat them nicely. So mashed potato is like the biggest comfort food, isn't it? But my God, it makes a mess, especially when you're camping. So my golden rule, if you're gonna have mashed potato at all on a camping trip, then double it up, make more than you need so that you've got leftovers. Either a bubble and squeak or just a breakfast hash, whatever. Okay, they've been cooking three or four minutes. Oh yeah. I'm gonna finish these off. I'm gonna fry a couple of eggs. I'm gonna plate them up and they're gonna be tip toppity boo. As always, if you've enjoyed this recipe, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps my channel out. So thank you in advance. So I'm gonna sign off now and until the next time, happy camping.